You guys know by now that I love sandwiches. In fact, they're one of my favorite food groups. So I was really interested to see that Just Mayo and Hampton Creek reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in doing a sponsored video on their new flavored sauces. And surprisingly enough, this is not the first time I've heard of this company, which is often the case on some of these sponsored videos. I actually saw them on Jim Cramer's Mad Money, which also has to deal with one of my favorite things. No, not money, but more the fact that the host just is able to yell at the camera the whole time. I think I could pick up some tips there. And if you've seen that show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Kramer. I have talked to the heads of almost every single one of these firms in the last 72 hours, and he has no idea what it's like out there. None! And Bill Poole has no idea what it's like out there. My people have been in this game for 25 years, and they are losing their jobs, and these firms are going to go out of business, and he's nuts! They're nuts! They know nothing! But that being said, they had the founder of Hampton Creek on there talking about where the company came from, and he made a really good point. He said he believes that people don't make good food decisions just because they don't have that readily available to them. So they've really strived to bring their products and make them readily accessible, carrying them at places like Walmart, Target, Kroger, Publix, all sorts of things. So they went ahead and sent me these six different flavors. I have a sandwich here to try out. That leaves me a little bit of a dilemma because there's six flavors in one sandwich. So there's only one really thing I can think of. And that is, let's have two sandwiches. So that lets me try two of these flavors. I can say I've tried these all beforehand. They're all pretty good. I think for this case, I'm going to go with the sriracha as well as potentially this awesome sauce. Cause how can you deny anything that says awesome sauce? So I'm gonna put these on these two sandwiches. Have me some of that. If you guys are interested in trying this, there's a link in the description that'll get you a dollar off for your local grocery store. So you see these, give them a try. Pretty good. Let me know what you think. So it's probably been about a year since I considered myself strong. I came off two strong meets last year where I told 1,500 pounds I was making a ton of progress. Things were going really well. And with that, I kind of let things slide a little bit because I had other important things in my life, like getting married, going on my honeymoon, and some other work-related issues. That being the case, when I did get back to training in early 2016 with my new home gym, I kind of set myself up for failure because I developed some knee tendonitis, which really actually sidelined me the beginning part of 2016. So much so, in fact, that I think I took off more the first three months of the year than I did the whole year previous. Now, that being said, I'm finally back on track in my estimation. Squats have been feeling really well. My knee's been feeling really, really healthy. And although I'm not back to where I was around this time last year, I will soon be there, I have no doubt in my mind. And the other day I was able to work up to the heaviest single I've had in almost a year, which is 515 for one. And although this isn't a PR by any means, and in fact, it's still far off from where I consider myself where I need to be, it felt very good, it moved very well, and most importantly, I did not have any knee discomfort. Again, about three months ago at this time, I couldn't even squat 400 pounds without being in severe pain. So we're making progress. After this top single of 515, I backed off a little bit to 455 and this moved up as well. So I'm really looking forward to the next couple of months and hopefully by the end of the year, I'll be even further along in my progress. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.